So I want to just pass this question over to Radek already. There are a number of efforts here regionally to build and promote economic development. You are uh, principal of Era Ventures. Um, what are some global initiatives that you've undertaken and those others that you are aware of in the community? Sure. Uh, thank you uh, for this opportunity for all of you to visit the Aerial International Center. Uh, for 20 years ago, I came with $20 as an Asian immigrant from India. And uh, because of education and all, and working hard about 80 hours a week, we were able to succeed and build this Aerial International Center. I wanted this to be an economic development tool to help other immigrant entrepreneurs, women-owned entrepreneurs, and minority entrepreneurs. So we have built this oh, with 100% uh, women-owned uh, to help create an international business incubator, to also hold international events, and to market this region, Asia Town region, to the world, to India, China, other countries. Uh, we're looking to maybe acquire some of the warehouses in the surrounding areas, uh, work with the Port Authority to try to create a foreign trade zone in the surrounding areas, because this is a great distribution hub. Uh, warehousing in India is more expensive than warehousing here. You can get like a three dollars a square foot in India, it's five. So we want to attract companies to come here, locate their offices here, have the warehousing distribution in the surrounding areas, and attract businesses. So our passion and mission of Aerial International Center is economic development through globalization. Uh, as a company, we do economic development finance, bringing together international finance and tax, economic development finance. So we are creating a fund to help uh, immigrant or minority and women -owned entrepreneurs to help start up their companies if they're involved in the international business. So it's not only attracting foreign companies to come here and contribute to economic development, but also local entrepreneurs, Asian immigrant entrepreneurs, who want to start their own businesses. We have incubator plus shared services to help you grow successfully in the global markets. Uh, we are working closely with the state, uh, uh, with the county, with the city of uh, Cleveland, as well as nationally on economic development finance uh, issues. Uh, so, we have a success story of bringing a German company. Uh, they opened their first North American office here in Cleveland and have moved manufacturing from Germany to Cleveland. And they've already added four jobs, four or five jobs just, you know, in a few months. And they expect, expect to grow a lot in this region. So, with that, I just wanted to share some of the uh, activity that we have doing here, as well as uh, working with uh, Michael, uh, Councilman Jeff Johnson, Johnny Wu, uh, with uh, uh, Michael Fleming of St. Clair Superior, to try to transform this Asia Town area, uh, to bring uh, companies, maybe try to create a walking path connectivity to the lake. So we are looking here to, down the road, have international restaurants downstairs, international uh, Business, uh, restaurants and retail with maybe 20 different countries showcasing their uh, products from their countries. So it will become like a mini international bazaar with international foods like Taste of Asia, Taste of Europe. So it becomes a one-stop center for events, businesses, retail. And that's kind of the thinking and planning for this region. And thank you, Councilman Jeff Johnson, Michael Fleming, and Michael from Asia, and Johnny Wu, everybody for helping this initiative. Thank you. Thank you.